After seeing Dr. Yingling and watching a bunch of videos from people who've studied endometriosis for a long time, I wholeheartedly believe that eating right and staying away from foods that cause you inflammation is the answer to endometriosis. Hi, my name is Nicole, and before I start talking about this video, I'm just gonna let you know that I'm recording this outside, so that's why you're hearing all this rain noise. So, about this video. This video, I'm gonna talk about my endometriosis journey. And for those of you who don't know, endometriosis is when the endometrium tissue in your uterus grows outside of the uterus, which could cause debilitating menstrual cramps, irregular periods, infertility, and a whole bunch of other stuff. For me, my endometriosis journey started when I was 23. I just randomly started feeling this constant pain in my right side. It was painful to have sex, and I had to pee every two hours at night. So I go to my primary doctor, I tell him all my symptoms, and his first reaction is, you have to pee every two hours. Yes, did I stutter? every two hours. In my head, I'm like, how are you gonna not believe me about my symptom that I'm experiencing? I do understand that people can be very overdramatic about their pain, but I was telling the truth and he didn't believe me and I wanted to smack him. So he gives me anti-inflammatory pills. He tells me to take them, tell, me, tell him if the symptoms go away. I take the anti-inflammatory pills, they don't do anything, and I don't go back to that doctor. So I go to a different doctor, I tell her my symptoms. Each visit, she kept giving me anti-inflammatory pills, even though I told her they're not doing anything. She has me get an ultrasound done, an MRI, a CAT scan, they all come back normal. So I just decided not to go back to her and to go to a gynecologist instead. So I go to a gynecologist, I tell her my symptoms, and then she tells me, Oh, you're diagnosed with Desipionia? I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's just the medical term for painful sex. I'm like, okay, so how can you fix it? Like, what do I do? And she's like, you can't do anything. You just have to stay away from positions that hurt. I'm like, there's something causing it, though. There's a reason why it's hurting. Like, so how can we get to that reason? And she's like, there's no reason. Like, are you even trying to figure out the issue? Or are you just giving me a diagnosis for something I already know and then sending me on my way just clueless? I understand doctors can be unsure of what's happening with you, but she wasn't even trying to figure out the problem. So that pissed me off. So I didn't go back to her. I went to a different gynecologist. I tell him my symptoms and he tells me that there's a possibility that I might have endometriosis. But he wasn't completely sold because I wasn't experiencing the common symptoms like debilitating period cramps or irregular periods. My periods all just felt normal. It was just the constant pain on my right side, having to pee all the time, and the painful sex that I was experiencing. He gives me a general like overview of what endometriosis is. He tells me that the only way you can find out if you have endometriosis is to get a surgery, and then he explains, me, he explains to me the procedure and he tells me to let him know what I want to do. So I go home, I think about it, and I'm like, well, no doctor has given me any other answer or even that there's a possibility of something going wrong. So I'll get the surgery. So I call him up, I tell him I want to get the surgery, I get the date of the surgery, and I, then until that date, I'm just Googling endometriosis. I see that the common symptoms are debilitating menstrual cramps, irregular periods, missing period it's just stuff that i was not experiencing so i was like i can't have this i'm not experiencing like the common symptoms i doubt it but i mean why not give it a shot so i get the surgery and it turns out that i had stage one of endometriosis after the surgery he tells me that he took out as much scarring as he could to take off work for about a week to recover and to come in after two weeks for a follow-up. I go in for my follow-up, he explains more in detail what endometriosis is and explains that it's one of the leading causes for infertility. Having biological kids is really important to me, so the fact that I might not be able to because of endometriosis scared me. So I asked him if there's a cure and what's the chances that I will most likely be able to have children. And then he was telling me that there's no cure. My only option was birth control pills and surgery. And I just did not believe him. Someone ever tell you something and you just don't believe them, but you have nothing to base your disbelief on, but something in you is just telling you, that's just not true. That's how I felt when he told me that birth control pills and surgery was the only option. I was just like, I don't believe you, there has to be something else. After the surgery, my symptoms did go away for about a month or two, but after that, all my symptoms came back. So I was Googling and I was YouTubing ways to heal endometriosis. Most of them were like, you can't cure endometriosis, but there were some articles and YouTube videos that would talk about the endometriosis diet, which is basically just really clean eating. Chicken, some fish, a lot of fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, stay away from pasta, 
and I think it's said to stay away from dairy. I'm not, I don't remember 100%. I follow that diet for about a month and nothing's changing. I'm still feeling all of my symptoms. And I keep Googling, I keep YouTubing natural ways to heal endometriosis. I find this video on YouTube that really caught my eye. It was about a woman who was talking about her endometriosis journey. She got the surgery, but her symptoms came back just like mine did. She found a doctor who specializes in endometriosis in Florida. She goes to him and then after all of her appointments, she is symptom free and she was able to have three of her own kids. After she said she was able to have three of her own kids, I was like, I'm sold. I go to his website, I look at his information specifically about endometriosis, I see his reviews, I see the success stories, and I'm like, all right, this is it. I was already living in Florida at that time, so it was only about half an hour away from me, so I didn't have to travel. He was telling me that he has clients from like Ireland, Alaska, the UK. People like from all over the world go to him and, it, and they have success stories. I only had to make three appointments. The first appointment was about emotional stressors that stressors that were like trapped in my body. And he did what he did to like release all that stress and just let the energy flow and all that, all that like hippy dippy stuff. The second appointment was about hygiene products like toothpaste, lotion, shampoos, anything that you put on your body and he was just seeing if I was sensitive to any of that stuff by doing this certain type of muscle testing that he does and then the third appointment is the fun appointment because it's about food so he does what he does with his muscle testing and I find out that I'm actually sensitive to things like apples and pears and corn and soy and some other stuff that I don't really know how to pronounce according to the endo diet I could eat all that stuff apparently my body was sensitive to it so that's why I wasn't getting any better from that diet so after a couple of weeks of changing my diet staying away from the foods that my body is sensitive to and staying away from the hygiene products that I'm also sensitive to my symptoms were just gone I didn't have to pee every two hours at night that constant pain on my right side went away and sex is fun again and it just felt so good to not feel any symptoms. So it's been about two or three months and I've seen him and I haven't experienced any symptoms and I'm pregnant. All I ever wanted in life was to have my own family, have my own biological kids and it's happening. All thanks to Dr. Yingling. I'm so grateful that he exists. Dr. Yingling is just like, it's like just magic. If I was rich, I would just fly everybody to him so he can help everybody. That office is just amazing. When you walk in, the receptionist is so warm, and so friendly, welcoming. She doesn't make you feel like she's just waiting for 5 o'clock to leave. She actually wants to like be there to help people. And then Dr. Yingling himself, he's just very warm and friendly. He lets you talk, he explains things. He's very knowledgeable, he knows what he's doing, he knows his stuff. And you can tell he wants to be there. He wants to help you. Hands down, the best doctor I've ever been to. I'll link the video of the woman talking about her endometriosis journey that made me want to go see Dr. Yingling. And I'll also link Dr. Yingling's website if you want to go check that out. After seeing Dr. Yingling and watching a bunch of videos from people who've studied endometriosis for a long time, and after hearing a bunch of success stories from people who've healed it by switching their diet, after being a success, a success story from switching my diet, I wholeheartedly believe that eating right and staying away from foods that cause you inflammation is the answer to endometriosis. So that's my endometriosis journey. I hope this video was helpful in some way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!